Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel Infinite Learnopedia. This is the third video of the lecture series IoT Internet of Things. This video cover Arduino. This video will help you to understand the deep knowledge of the manufacturing process of the Arduino as well as you will get much knowledge about Arduino. In this video I will share factual details about the need for Arduino. Let's get started. In this video I will cover the following points. Definition of Arduino, types of Arduino, features, basic terminologies in Arduino. Next point, DC motor interfacing with Arduino, RC car motor interfacing with Arduino. Next point, other applications of Arduino and, and last point, advantages. Let's begin with the first point, definition of Arduino. It is an open source physical computing platform based on a simple input output board and a development environment that implements the processing language. In general, the Arduino programming language and the Arduino software is based on processing. It has been used in thousands of different projects and applications. The Arduino software is easy to use for beginners. It runs on Mac, Windows and Linux operating systems. Programming language is easy. Types of Arduino Number one is Arduino UNO. This is the latest revision of the basic Arduino USB board. Picture to the right is Arduino UNO. It connects to the computer with a standard USB cable and contains everything else you need to program and use the board. It is similar to the Duo Milano but has different USB to serial chip and newly designed labeling to make inputs and outputs easier to identify. Second type is Arduino Mega 2560. The picture to the right is Arduino Mega 2560. This is larger, more powerful Arduino board. It has extra digital pins, PWM pins, analog inputs, serial ports, etc. This version features the AT Mega 2560 which has twice the memory and uses the AT Mega 8U2 for USB to serial communication. The third type is Arduino Dumilano. This is the third one, third type of Arduino. Fourth type is Arduino Fio. This is intended for use as a wireless node. It has a header for an XB radio, a connector for a LiPo battery and a battery charging circuit. These are the four types of Arduino. Moving towards features of Arduino UNO. Here is list of the features. First is operating voltage is, is 5V. Input voltage will range from 7V to 12V. The input voltage ranges from 6V to 20V. Digital I.O. pins are 14 with analog input output pins. 6. DC current for each input output pin is 40 milliampere. DC current for 3.3V pin is 50 milliampere with flash memory 32 kilobytes followed by SRAM, EEP ROM, clock of speed 16 megahertz. Next point is DC motor interfacing with Arduino. The figure towards right illustrates DC motor interfacing with Arduino. A DC motor, direct current motor, is the most common type of motor. DC motors normally have just two lids, one positive and one negative. If you connect these two lids directly to a battery, the motor will rotate. If you switch the lids, the motor will rotate in the opposite direction. Next interfacing is 
RC car motor with Arduino. This is an Arduino based Bluetooth controlled RC car. It is controlled by a smartphone application. Bluetooth controlled car is controlled by using Android mobile phone. It only needs to touch button in the Android phone to control the car forward, backward, left and right directions. Android phone is used as transmitting device and Bluetooth. In RC car motor, image to the right is interfacing of RC car with RC car motor with Arduino. Next point is other applications of Arduino. First application is traffic light countdown timer. Second is parking lot counter. Third is weighing machines. Fourth is medical instrument. Next is emergency light for railways. Window, aircon controller, washing machine, microwave, security systems and CCTV switchers. Last point of the lecture is advantages of Arduino. First advantage is it is simplified and user friendly programming language. No additional programmer hardware required for programming board. Third advantage is it is portable. Fourth is it is low power consumption. Arduino boards are relatively inexpensive compared to the other microcontroller. It runs on Windows and Linux operating system. If you have any query with Arduino, let me know in the comments box below. Stay tuned for more video on IoT. Do not forget to hit the subscribe button, like this video. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.